Hey everybody, my name is Kim Seaver. I'm with Hot Pepper Communications. We specialize in writing, editing, and social media management. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about emphasis, bold, italics, and the overuse of the overuse of those two things. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of an example. So I recently was asked by somebody to re-edit some content on a website. And part of the changes that were given to me included uh, paragraphs with entire sentences that were both bolded and italicized. I don't understand why people do this. This isn't the first time I've seen this happen. Why is it when people want to emphasize something, they overemphasize it? If you want to emphasize something, start by italicizing it. For example, here's an, consider this paragraph here. Kim has to go to Vancouver at the end of June for a conference. He'll be gone six days, which would be the longest he's ever been away from the rest of the family. Suppose we wanted to emphasize to the reader how this trip would be the longest time that I've ever been away from my family. In this case, we might format it like this, where we have the word longest italicized. So now when somebody's reading this paragraph and they come across the word longest, because it's italicized, it stands out. There's emphasis provided to it. So they know that there's some importance to that word. This tells the user that um, not only is it the most important to the writer, me, but that is also part of the right part that the writer wants to emphasize to the reader. So it's important to me that it's the longest I've ever been away from my family, but I want you to know that it's important too. That's why it's emphasized. Now consider this this change here. You notice here that we have six days in bold. These are not just any random words they have a relationship to the italicized words. They qualify just how long longest actually is. In other words, despite the different levels of emphasis, the emphasis is still logical. So not only is it the longest I've ever been away from my family, but I'm going to be gone for six days. Six whole days. Now, watch what happens if I do, the, if I use the same style that had been suggested to me, on the copy that was given to me. See, now we will see the entire sentence has been bolded and italicized. He will be gone six days, which will be the longest he has ever been away from the rest of the family. See, it doesn't make any sense. The logic of the emphasis gets completely lost, and the whole point of using emphasis is muted. There's no indication whether the, whether the writer is emphasizing being away from his family, whether the emphasis is on the length he'll be away or the act of being away itself. So when you're using emphasis, please make sure that it's logical and it makes sense. Here is the sensible solution. Remember that using too much emphasis will have the opposite effect. If you use too much emphasis, then there is no emphasis. Anyhow, I hope you've liked this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you appreciated the information in this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, and LinkedIn, and visit our website at hotpepper.ca. Thanks, and I look forward to talking to you next week.